Good morning and welcome to the Chart of the Week video with me, David Madden. Today's date is Friday the 11th of September 2020 and the time has just gone 9.15 British summer time. And this week's Chart of the Week is Euro Sterling. Now, if you take a look at the price action over the last few months, we can see that Euro Sterling has been, broadly speaking, has been in a nice upward trend. Uh, and the last few, and the last, last week or so, it's certainly get, um it's really kind of pushed higher on the back over uncertainty in relation to what the future relationship between the UK and the European Union is going to look like. Um, about uh, less than a week ago, we heard from the British Prime Minister, Boris Johnson, who basically said if the UK hasn't uh, negotiated a kind of comprehensive free trade agreement with the European Union by mid-October, it will be time to walk away from the negotiating table. Uh, more recently, we've heard from the European Union, who essentially said if the UK doesn't back down um, by the end of the month, it kind of it looks as if it's kind of kind of effect, effectively paving the way for a no trade no trade agreement situation um, come January 2021. So the, the the fear and uncertainty that trading between the UK and the European Union will be done on WTO WTO terms come early January 2021. Um, has really put pressure on the British pound and therefore the euro has pushed higher. So it was only yesterday um, the euro hit its highest level against the British pound since, Mar since March of this year. So it's in a solid upward trend. And the, this video is going to discuss where could we potentially go from here. So the market's in an upward trend. We're seeing a solid increase in positive momentum. So the upward trend, you know, the, the bias is clearly towards the upside. But to be fair, when you when you see a you know a, a rate a growth rate like this, that seems a bit unsustainable at that particular level. So the trend is is very much to the upside, but you know we could see a bit of a pullback before we potentially see a continuation of the positive move. So if we take a look at an hourly chart, we can get a better view of the of the uh, the price action. We can see here just how really things have ratcheted up um, in the past 24 hours. So if you take a look at this price chart, this chart here, we can see that this blue line here, the 50 hour moving average has acted nicely as support on a few occasions um, in, you know, in the last couple of weeks. So what we could see, given that the, the moves we've seen to the upside in Euro Sterling have been quite aggressive, we could see a bit of a pullback potentially towards the zero spot 92 area, or even back, even potentially back towards this zone here, the 50, 50 hour moving average in a zero spot 91.49, uh, before we before potentially the wider upward trend continues. Now, if you take a look at this area here, zero spot 91.49, it's not too far away from this area where we saw a bit of uh, consolidation ever so slightly uh, in that zone there in around zero spot 9138 and then also keep in mind this area acted as resistance uh, a, a couple of days ago once again that's in around the zero spot 9130 region so this entire area could act as, as support should you move lower and even potentially down toward this kind of zone between zero spot 91 and down to zero spot 97 so keep an eye out on those areas um, for uh, areas of potential support should you move lower um, to the upside, where could we potentially go from here? I am. Um, we, we'd have to go back to March to see kind of areas of potential resistance. We saw a lot of volatility uh, in the month of March, but the, the, the high um, of kind of mid to late March in a zero spot 93.88 could act as resistance or is up towards zero spot 94. So keep an eye on these areas to the upside. Um, as potential areas of resistance. And if we go beyond that, then the highs of, uh, of March will then be coming into play in around zero spot 95.04, sorry, zero spot 95.09. And then if we go beyond that, we'll be looking up towards zero spot 96. Um, well, we've, we've talked about how there's weakness in the, in the British pound versus the Euro. If you take a look at pound sterling, a, a different uh, chart, we can see that the weakness in the British pound isn't just confined to against the Euro. It's also, con uh, it's also losing ground versus the US dollar. Only yesterday, uh, pound dollar dropped to its lowest level since late July. So why, talk, why, why, why am I mentioning this? Well, if you look at Dow theory, one of the tenets of Dow theory is that the averages must confirm each other. And what that basically means is that markets that are similar uh, are, likely to be, are likely to be moving in a similar direction. So we can see that this weakness 
in the British pound versus the euro. Euro sterling is moving higher. But we can also see that there's weakness in the British pound versus the US dollar. Where we saw just a moment ago that dollar, that, that pound dollar dropped to its lowest level since late July. Uh, that's it from this video. Thank you for listening. Have a good trading week and good luck.